just caution this who have touched on in several won this race last year. Well said, here we go. And they're off, blindfolds removed for the jockey Jan.co.uk. Jan Wilson Memorial Apprentice Handicap Sheeda was fast out. The maroon with the white seeds blown at sheepskin nose by predominantly green colours of Idler. Uh, towards this near side, Jinky, that's purple and pink, tracked by the white cap of Argentine. Over on the far side, the black and white diamond jacket, Polar Annie, Wheaton 30, the white and brown sheepskin nose band, and Paradise Spectre, the favourite yellow cap, is just in around about sixth position at the moment in the centre of the group. Idler up there with Jinky, and then Polar Annie, Paradise Spectre, Dotty Darrick in the next position with Argentine, and then Wheaton 30. They are now at halfway and approaching the final two. It is Idler and George Challoner. He gets busy, so too does Connor Harris on board the favourite Paradise Spectre Polar Annie is under the whip Jinky running a blinder for Ross Smith this near side Argentine closest to the stand side trying to run on as well with Blown It the far side Paradise Spectre plenty of chances Argentine is really getting there the red and white for Shirley Teasdale coming inside the furlong and it's this near side Argentine the grab to the lead seeking career win number 10 Paradise Spectre every chance the far side Jinky in between them Polar Annie tries to run on it is Argentine that leads by a length and coming up the line Argentine will hold on from Paradise Spectre Polar Annie in third spot ahead of Jinky and Idler was next, Dotty Derrick and blown it. Well fitting uh, that the Jan Wilson Memorial Apprentice Handicap should be won uh, by a lady apprentice in the shape of Shirley Teasdale. And Argentina Davis, who records a second course and distance success following on from his win here back in May. He's beaten Paradise Spectre. He couldn't quite claw back the deficit. Paul Arani every chance in third. More like it uh, from Jinky. Maybe that's a step in the right direction for him. But kept away from the others. I think that's the, the right sort of tactics. Argentine, uh, the sort of horse that, that needs to be kitted in his races. I think it was Tom Eves who did it a couple of months back. And it's Shirley Teasdale who gets the job done today. It's probably quite a clever ride that away from the action. Yeah, from stall 11, and I think maybe something benefit right underneath that stand side reel. It certainly helps go apprentices, uh, and obviously, you know, having that reel to, to, to keep them straight the whole way. Um, Shirley T still based with Andy Nicholas. She's made a big impression, she's done well. She's got, Dandy's given her plenty of ch chances. She won the likes of Taj Need uh, earlier year, and she's given a cute ride. At, um, he's a previous course and distance winner of 740 and won this He won this race last year with Blue Jazz. And he's turned out quickly, only 48 hours ago, he was struggling with stuff, a few hundred miles south down at uh, Southwell. Um, but uh, off of Marcus 61, he, we know on his going day, he can't be competitive. He's not one of them horses you maybe follow in at a short price to follow up. But he's one of those horses that runs a lot, gives his owners plenty of fun, and bops up now then. Yeah, absolutely right. And uh, she's uh, really coming on in the last a year or so, uh, Shirley Teasdale. She's she's quite neat. I think she's getting stronger all the while. And you, when you just watch her, when we get upside, you'll see her in sort of side her profile, how tight she sits in behind her horse. Dandy has been raving about her uh, as having all the tools for the job for the last year or so. Yeah, um, and uh, and she she's done it well. She's she is strong and. Uh, it's come together, she's getting a few breaks and she's very much taking them. Uh, off the rest in Paradise Spectre's still, um, they run a good race, Elaine Burke was on the market red car earlier in the afternoon, um, just run into one and just unfortunately he is hitting a bit of form now but just after 22 starts now he is three point higher than he's ever won off so he is handicapped in around his best. There was more, more from Polar Annie in third place today and um, that one is three point below her last winning mark. Um, and you know, Jim Goldie looks like he, he could be about to, you know, obviously had the first winner in the Sears Cup last week, but hadn't been knocking him in with, uh, you know, with variety. So if, if they had a bit of form, she's handicapped certainly. If she could build in this next time, she'd go on to keep an eye on And that's more like it from Jinky, who's pressed by Polarani on the line for third spot.